Hey guys, Chaos Juice here. Today we're going to be looking at Islanders. Uh, Islanders is a new indie game. Beautiful game. Uh, great soundtrack. It just came out on Steam and it is only $4.50. So it's kind of a uh, city builder puzzle game. Kind of hard to explain, but you'll understand more when I jump in here. We're just going to go ahead and start a new game. I've played probably just about 10 minutes of this game so far, so not a whole lot, but it's been an absolute pleasure so far. Um, we're just gonna start out. Uh, you move the camera with WASD, you kind of pan around here. You can do the same thing by holding the left mouse button and dragging here. You can rotate the camera with Q and E, uh, and the same thing with the right mouse click uh, and hold. So the whole point of the game is to fill up the score meter over here. And you do that by building buildings. So we're going to start off right off the bat, uh, and we are going to pick either a lumberjack camp or a farming pack. So because we have some trees here, I'm going to go ahead and try and capitalize on that with a lumberjack plot. So see this uh, obelisk over here? That increases our score. So if I build our lumberjack plot close enough there, I can actually get that bonus. Uh, every tree we build these little lumberjack camps closer to, uh, that's a bonus and also if we get it close to the obelisk again that's also another bonus so I'm gonna try and put one here and also one right see well actually you get the negative six over here for having another lumberjack camp close to it uh, so we can just do this get 14 or get 10 so we're gonna go ahead and put that a little bit further away and get go ahead and get that 14 bonus here now you will eventually fill up your space there, so you want to be a little careful uh, placing buildings, um, especially as you try and get further into the game. So we can either go a brewing pack here or a farming pack. I think we're going to go ahead and jump on our farming pack. Uh, we also get more lumberjack camps uh, because that's a building that we already have available. So this is right off the bat plus 13, so we're going to try and put it as close to the edge here as we can. Um, and then each of these farming plots is a plus eight. Um, plus eight because it's close enough to that. So you really want to maximize your space here. Uh, and so you don't want to... You can... Sorry. You can rotate your buildings uh, by spinning your mouse wheel. That allows you to kind of capitalize on space as well. So we're really maximizing our score there. So again, you get the, the bonuses here uh, based on which buildings it's close to or far away from. If we build it close to this one, it is negative six, but I think that's the best score we can get. So I'm gonna nuz nuzzle it right up close there. Uh, so to in order to conserve some space. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then we're also going to build another building right next to it, the lumber mill to get more out of those two buildings. So as you fill up this meter here, you get more buildings. If you don't manage to fill up that meter with the buildings that you are provided, uh, you fail. So, man, this game has just been really peaceful. It's been something to play after a more stressful ga game or a more stressful day and just kind of come home and sit down and, and chill uh, and enjoy this game. So I'm gonna continue to play here for a little bit. I'm gonna reduce my commentary because this, you, you kind of understand the concept of the game now. Now, different buildings are going to give you different abilities, different um, challenges to placing them, but uh, you'll kind of see those as we go along here. So we're going to go ahead and grab our city pack. It contains a ton of buildings, uh, but they also can reduce uh, they can also reduce the, the buildings around them. So we're going to build our city up on this hill here next to our obelisk and so we get the maximum amount of bonus and with the city you have to be really careful uh, because it does take up so much space you really have to maximize your space here so I'm gonna go ahead and do this uh, and like I said I'm just gonna kind of let you guys watch enjoy the music uh, and just really take in the game it is a gorgeous game uh, and if you haven't picked it up it is only for 50 on steam right now so i would encourage you to go ahead and pick it up and just just enjoy you know the puzzle aspects of this game so this right here would be a perfect time to spin my camera and kind of see if i could fit this building in here i think i can yep i can kind of do a tetris move here someone called this game a combination of tetris and um sim city 
I love that comparison because as you're seeing here, I'm like trying to fit all these buildings in here, uh, which is the Tetris aspect. And then I'm also trying to get the synergies of the building, which is more the SimCity. Um, so you can see the bonuses here if you hover over them. Uh, what bonuses you get from all of the all of the buildings and all of the items around so the statue gets a plus five the temple gets a plus five the fat flowers get a plus three losses for each mansion city center and shaman in range etc so we do have several flowers over here um so i may go ahead and pick the shaman the brew pack contains brewery and hop fields we don't know what that contains right now so i'm gonna hope, go ahead and grab this try to maximize our points until you know we reach that loss which uh that l not loss but kind of you're done building your city once once you don't reach the next bonus or point um where you get an another draw so yeah we're just gonna keep playing until we reach that um really really utilizing this hill up here kind of the, to the best of the ability i think so we went ahead and unlocked a new island you collected enough points to unlock button below i wonder what happens when you press it so we're gonna uh continue to build actually here until uh that new island occurs so. So we're going to go ahead and build it at the base of our building here. And we get another... This is when it starts to get interesting, because you do eventually run out of space. Uh, and so sometimes it's just better to put your sawmill someplace where you, you actually get a zero bonus. But until we do that, we're going to go ahead and place our mansions here, because I think we can get a better bonus going. You don't want to take out any of those trees because a lot of those logging camps rely on those trees. So. I think this very might well might be our lost state here. Yep, it's going to be it. So we didn't achieve the next resource, but we do have this new island. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the next island. We continue on a mysterious new island. There's no way to return to your current island, but you keep your score. Let's go. So that's kind of going on to the next stage in Tetris. You're going on to the next island uh, here. So that island's done. Uh, you've achieved a high enough score to get to the next part. So it's always a good idea to maximize your islands, get to that quote unquote lost state until you ex uh, continue to the next island because your score your score really does depend on how much you go 
so I'm gonna I'm gonna build a little bit more see if we can discover any new buildings um, but that's my been basically my review of Islanders um, it's a very very relaxing very chill game great soundtrack for just kind of sitting down um, and just enjoying yourself kind of trying to maximize everything um, and puzzle your way through stuff as well as build a very beautiful city that's aesthetically pleasing I mean the graphics are very minimalistic but it is a gorgeous game. Uh, our style is, is very clear. Uh, you know what the developer was going for, and it's it's truly, truly enjoyable. Uh, I've enjoyed every moment with this game, um, and I will continue to play it and, and perhaps stream it a little bit. So thanks for sticking around this far. Uh, if you like this, I'm, I'm going to try and review a lot more games. Um, this is kind of my first review, so I apologize for any stuttering or commentary but if you did like this uh, please subscribe i hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe and yeah you can stick around for uh, more games uh, i'm gonna try and review a lot of indie games and uh get some triple a titles in there as well as i play them but i do enjoy a good indie game so thanks for sticking around um and i'm just gonna continue to play and you can kind of sit back and enjoy